Hello there, what's up y'all? Welcome to my channel. This is a video where I will share my thoughts on Doctor Strange 2 Multiverse of Madness. And right off the bat, it's a good movie. But the problem is, it's also a bad movie. If you ask people, either they love it or hate it. But for me, I'm more so in the between, but more towards the like stuff, cause I do enjoy this movie quite a bit. So this video will have spoilers eventually, but I'll put the timestamp in somewhere description or I don't know how to put that. To be honest, the movie's storyline is not at all hard to understand, it's pretty simple. Now to recap, I would say this is a movie where America Chavez has power of dimension hopping so Wanda want her power so that she could have her real life she had in Westview and she sends some minions, well not that cutie minions, well she sends interdimensional monsters to catch America Chavez to get her power and you know Doctor Strange, our Doctor Strange being the hero he is, he helps America Chavez and fights against Wanda and that's pretty much everything for the story but what I like about the movie is you never feel bored like I went to the movie it's like more than two hours long but it did feel like just wow I just went to the movie and the movie happened 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 and done I'm out that carries your interest from the very beginning to the very end and that's obviously a good thing now I want to share one of my funniest experience ever in a movie theater so when I want to watch the movie the movie starts with America Chavez talking with Dr. Estraño and I was like wait a minute well they were talking in Spanish and I felt like did I literally got the wrong show? Did I book the wrong show? But turns out, nah, that was for representation purposes. But anyway, I don't care for that. I don't think many people care for that. So the movie starts like that. So we have Defender Strange there. And then we also made different versions like we get Dark Strange. We get a super powerful version of Doctor Strange in some other universe. And we obviously have our Strange who. Now Benedict Cumberbatch, he puts forth a phenomenal job. Like if you watch the movie, you would know like he didn't go out of his way. But he does portray the different Doctor Strange differently. And as of Wanda, now this is something many people didn't like because Wanda in WandaVision she was like, she was not like bad, she wasn't a villain, she, all she wanted was to have a family and she couldn't. So that was okay but in this movie if you watch it, she is sort of like the real villain cause she does some dark stuff and wow, this movie is not for kids, like literally Marvel pushed their limit for PG-13, like well this is not going to be spoilery so. At the very beginning, there is a scene where Doctor Strange pokes a rod through Gargantos' eyes, like literally putting it right in and take the eyeball out, which is probably a nod to Evil Dead movies where you also see flying eyes everywhere. Well, not everywhere, but you know what I mean? And Sam Raimi through and through proves he is one of the better horror comedy directors out of there. Like literally there are some scenes which it would give you chills, not because they are super horrific or very much of scary, but they are definitely going to have a Sam Raimi touch as I could say. Like if you watch other Sam Raimi movies like Evil Dead, Drag Me to Hell, like other movies, well, you are definitely going to feel the essence of Sam Raimi-ness. Now, is it a good thing? Is it a bad thing? Definitely not. MCU has always been trying different directors, very different backgrounds to tell their very own stories. Now, if I'm not wrong, Scott Derrickson, the director of the first movie, was having created differences for this movie because he wanted the movie to be a bit too dark but Marvel wasn't wanting that so Sam Raimi puts a nice balance like literally this movie has so many dark stuff yet it's not so dark, not as dark as Batman but definitely more darker than any other MCU movies. Now for the spoilers I would say Illuminati is in this movie and I don't know why or how but Illuminati scenes were leaked on YouTube one day before the movie even released in my country. So I was already spoiled going to the theaters knowing that Mr. Fantastic would become Noodles and Black Bolt would fry his brains. Captain Marvel, they also puts up a fight but couldn't hold up. Now, one thing I want to say which is kind of a weird thing. Many people may criticize this movie 
why he's saying the male members, the white male members of Illuminati were the very first ones to die. Mr. Fantastic and Black Bolt, while Mario Rambo and Peggy Carter, they put up a fight and dies and Carl Motto, who is a black dude, he doesn't fight so he doesn't die. So you may say it's woke and shit but I don't care. Black Bolt's face getting sealed and the noodles thing with Mr. Fantastic, like those made sense on the point and I wasn't thinking like because the movie is pretty entertaining and as for what people say about this, I don't care say that because I like the movie. Now one thing I would say that I absolutely hate in this movie is we have Ultron but not the creator of Ultron which is pretty underwhelming like I don't want a Tom Cruise Iron Man, you could have literally got RDJ back as Iron Man or any actor you could wanna do. but. Iron Man is not there. Well, in the comics, Hank Pym was the one who made Ultron, so give him a chance. Maybe show some Hank Pym. Nope, there is no one. Like, they wanna mean that Mr. Fantastic made the Ultrons, which they didn't say, but they did say the smartest man. So, maybe Iron Man doesn't exist in this universe. So, this is a very dull universe, I guess. And I don't wanna spoil any more of the movie because I don't think there's any more to spoil anyway. So, after talking this much about the movie, I can finally conclude that this movie is pretty amazing for some people, while not so amazing for others. And many people outright say it's bad, and other people People would say it's rushed like literally there are is action and stuff happening 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 and it ended so it's pretty much up to you whether you like it or not so if you ask me if you should watch it or not I would say give it a try why not and watch on Disney plus and and if you are an MCO fan then definitely it's a must watch the multiverse started expanding in Loki continued in no way home and fully expanded in this movie so MCU will have multiverse stuff. Anyway, that's it for today's video. I don't want to waste any more of your time. But if you like this video, please hit the like button and comment down below. And do not hit the dislike button. No one's going to see. And if you still want to dislike it, come on. You don't want anyone to see that. So hit the like button. You can watch my other videos where I compare the first Nolan movie with the new Batman movie and if you want you can also watch the other video I made where I compared the Disney Plus MCU shows with Peacemaker. You can also check out that video. Till then, have a nice day or night or whatever you're doing.